uh, don't have a lot of big news. Uh, we have our bug splat viewer out as a release candidate. The only difference between it and the default release is that it's doing reporting, crash reporting to bug splat instead of brake pad. Um, I saw your the bug you filed about that, Whirly, and I think there are some things we can do to help. Um, but uh, I'll get back to you on that. Um, uh, I've I've been frantically busy uh, since basically you filed that issue, and I just haven't had a chance to look at it. What with our uh, conference and picnic and everything, so. Um, but we'll 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 have a look at some of those issues. Some some of the some of what you reported was not intentional. Um, so we'll we'll try and sort it out. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, so that was the only new one. The main viewer got an update, but it's uh, not fundamentally different. It just got a couple more fixes. Um, and uh, we will be uh, updating that. Um, and uh, we're trying hard to get some, uh, you know, Animesh uh, moved forward to an RC viewer pretty soon. Last couple of issues to be dealt with there. So that's coming. Um, and the uh, the one I don't have in the list is the estate management changes. So let me look and see what the status of that is. Uh, yeah, that's still. It's still picking up the last few few bits, but that that should be coming out pretty soon too. So it's got it's got a couple of issues linked to it that are not yet completely solved. Um, but coming along, um, I am not aware of any problems that have been uncovered. Uh, that coincided with the Firestorm update. Thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll all keep our fingers crossed that that stays true. Um, but I think the floor is open. Uh, I have, I have no idea about that, that anything has changed that should have any effect on that. In fact, I'm pretty sure nothing has changed. We haven't even done a roll lately. Which one is blue steel these days?
Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we have we have both a, a viewer change and a server change to help with that. So I guess I guess I was I was just getting pinged in the background here. It is it is an understood problem. And we'll fix it. Yeah, it's in Devon QA now. And we're we're getting closer on uh, a lot of our big projects. The, we got a, a nice demo of the environment enhancements this week, um, and that's uh, it. It it needs a server side fix as well, Whirly. Um, So uh, that 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 demo was cool. So uh, riders getting getting closer. Um, that is still blocked by another effort that's updating uh, AIS, the inventory service. Uh, and until that has gotten through, we will not be able to deploy the inventory service that um, EAP and Bakes on mesh both need. Um, so, but that's coming along. And when we when we get that out, we'll be able to get those those viewers out. But inventory is one of those things we go slowly on when we update it because we don't want to make it any more problematic than it already is. Uh, the group notices change is working its way through the release pipeline. It's uh, the um, some more stuff has been done on that, and uh, it is it, it it will require a, a a viewer change to switch to using the cap, and then you should be good. Um, the the default mode of delivering group notices if you're logged in, though, as opposed to when you first log in, is still going to be UDP, and there's therefore still the possibility that they'll disappear. Yeah, you need a new. We we need the server side updated, but that's that's in the pipeline now, and and getting getting tested. We we actually only had, you know, like four working days since our last third party viewer meeting. So, uh, what with everybody traveling and having our summit and traveling home again. So, lots of lots of stuff has been sitting and waiting. But we had a very very, very useful session. A lot of good ideas generated. <laughs> uh, some quarter in the vastly different future. On an alternate timeline. Where everything is much slower. <laughs> yeah.
No other hot topics today? Jeez, everybody's releases are going way too well. Uh, texture cache stuff. Um, Graham has been has been focused on other things a little bit, but the, that's winding down. So we should get back to the texture cache thing. It's uh, it, it should be out uh, at least as a as a uh, project viewer for real world testing shortly. And then we'll uh, we'll be able to get it into the release pipeline if it behaves. Stats next week. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Sure. I'll do that. Let me give myself a reminder.
Uh, yeah, the estate management tools have, have gotten a lot of work. They just haven't quite reached release readiness. Yeah, yeah, they should be pretty soon. I'm I'm not actually sure what's been holding them up. I'll have to look at it, look into it. We're going to start soon on porting to VS 2017, so you can, you'll be able to skip it. <laughs> we will be soon. Yes. Don't want to let ourselves get behind again. That was way too painful last time we had to go up four versions. I'd like that to happen this quarter. We'll see whether or not it actually does. Yeah, it, it looks to me as though the estate access stuff just has not yet gotten sufficiently QA'd. Uh, so we'll see if we can't poke that and make it move faster. I'd like to get that out. All right. Well, if we haven't got anything new to say, let's uh, break early. Um, I don't know, Kitty, uh, but we, we haven't been in a position to have done anything with if, with it if we had, so, uh, we'll, we'll have to get back to it.
Have a great weekend, and we'll see you in two weeks. Uh, Wally, thanks for the links and the information about the uh, other stuff.